And here I was, <laughs> thinking that the founder, the Memphis Midcard piece of crap, had a massive ego. <laughs> he did, does, and always will. Don't ever get it twisted. Oh, but my God, he's got to be jealous of this. He's got to be mad about this. He's got to be kicking himself saying, all those years with Spike TV, I couldn't get one of these. <laughs> now you would think, you would think that when you're one of the EVPs of All Elite Wrestling, you're the brand chief of All Elite Wrestling, and of course I'm referring to Cody and Brandy Rhodes, you would think that you would be all in focusing on building your new company. You would think that that would be all consuming. And I imagine it probably is. And it should be. Like in some ways, yeah, you're leveraging Tony Khan's dad's money. Like you're taking the Shad Khan playbook and paycheck and trying to build a wrestling company, a national and international wrestling brand. So it's naturally going to take up a lot of your focus, you would think. Which, in theory, would also lead you to believe that you wouldn't have a ton of time for additional side projects. Especially considering Cody already has the Go Big Show. You would think that that's enough. That's enough to take this perpetual, consistent, forever-in-a-day mid-carter for life and, and remind everybody of why he's indeed a mid-carter for life. Like he's one of the boys in charge, yes. He's a decent talent, yes. But he's an egomaniac and a general piece of shit. Also can be true. Also is true. And no matter how much you try to position him with his stupid ass, I want to be like my half-brother, but not fully, but I want to rip off from my dad, but not fully, but a lot of it, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> this mid-carder for life, you can put him out there until kingdom fucking come, ain't going to make him a big star. It's not. It's just not in the cards for him. And you would think, you would think, that he would say, you know what, okay, doing a project like Go Big Show, I don't, I don't knock him for that at all. Get an additional paycheck. Get some visibility on yourself. Get some association with you and people exploring like, hey, they might be watching that show. Okay, what does this guy do? We know who Snoop is. We know who Rosario Dawson is. We have no clue who the fuck this asshole is with the crappy looking neck tap. Who's that? You know, it'll get some searches going. It'll get some interest going. And you can get some additional pay on the side. Like all of us would do that. I do not knock him for that whatsoever. But this? Roads to the top! <laughs> There's just something about the optics of it. The optics of it being that Cody and Brandy sat there and thought that the whole fucking world cared so much about their stupid pregnancy, which congratulations to them, good for them, that they have to sit there and run shit during the wrestling show, be like, here's our big baby reveal, Brandy's pregnant, guess what the gender's gonna be? A bum 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 bum! Leave it to Cody to only be able to produce a child that has a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you start to get to these things like the AEW heels crap and you start to kind of realize and understand what you're dealing with a little bit here in terms of a bit of a disconnection from reality, a bit of a me-focused, egocentric kind of mindset, which fundamentally doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Like, in most cases, in order to be successful or truly successful in this world, you've got to be an egomaniac. <laughs> You've got to be a bit of an asshole. That's just a fact. 
That's why sometimes you see some of the richest people in the world have been assholes for decades and then all of a sudden they realize, well, shit, I've made my fortune now. I've been a D-bag. I'm in legacy mode now. Let me start giving away my money and be involved in charitable efforts and philanthropic ventures and et cetera and all that other shit. They had to step on people and they had to kill people, you know, figuratively or literally to get into their position. But that there's an optics piece of this and say that these assholes really think that they're bigger than better than everybody else. These assholes think that they are the level of a star that they can support or justify or defend having their own damn reality show. Or that they think that their so lives are so damn interesting are so damn important that it even necessitates or justifies having a reality show. Of course Cody and Brandy do. Of course they do. That should not be a surprise to any of you by now. And, and if it is, if this is some startling new revelation, where the hell have you been the past couple of years? <laughs> now, I will say this. It really makes no heads or tails for me one way or another because I know I'm not watching the shit. It's kind of weird to me that they've said several times, talking specifically about Cody and others, the other EVPs, talking about how they're not trying to branch out and they're trying to just go after their hardcore audience and they're just worried about appealing to them. But then you do shit like they go big show and you do shit like roads to the top and you do your own fucking reality show now like... You're talking out of both sides of your mouth, which is perfectly suited. That is absolutely 100% Cody Rhodes to a T. It's a fucking liar. And he will talk out of both sides of his mouth. And you guys have seen plenty of evidence over this in recent years. So I, I don't get which one is it. You try to appeal to a hardcore audience and just focus on them solely? Do you really think that hardcore audience, all of them are just going to translate over and you're going to get enough ratings with your Rhodes to the top reality show? Oh my God. <laughs> Ego much? I'm an egomaniac myself. I almost damn near have to respect it. It's certainly not God levels of ego. You know, that could be both irritating and frustrating and also very fun and appreciative when we talk about it. You know, it's certainly not Memphis mid-card piece of crap levels of ego where you start multiple wrestling companies and then continuously pound yourself into the top and make yourself multiple world champion. Every time you're bringing somebody in, you're just bringing them in so they can job to you. Like, that's pathetic and sad. And fuck the founder. But this is just some weird in-between. Like, I would assume the only appealing thing about this is going to be the damn dogs, especially Pharaoh. I would assume Pharaoh will be a big star here. Really. Like, when I think about people that could make a reality show work, even within AEW's roster, like, you're going to give me a reality show about something. Yeah, there's no romantic angle there. There's no male-female dynamic. But, goddamn, I'd rather have John Moxley and Eddie Kingston any fucking day of the week, wouldn't you? Just saying. Like, that seems like that would be a lot more fun with a lot more interesting and compelling people. You could bring Renee into the fold. Like, it's not all bad. But here, you're going to find out just kind of how bland and vanilla Cody really is, which you should already know. And you're just going to get even more reminders of just how bland and vanilla of a personality Brandy Rhodes is. Like, yeah, she's hot or whatever, but once you look past that, there's not a whole lot there. Especially from an entertain you standpoint, there's absolutely nothing. And y'all know that to be true. Now, I don't hate on him for getting the fucking reality show because if TNT came to him and said, hey, you know what? Here's some money for you. Let's do a fucking show. Why the hell wouldn't they? To me, you could always say, yeah, I don't know if the timing's right. I don't feel like it's a good time. We should be focusing on other things. Like that certainly would have been what I would have thought would have been the right call. Like if you were really focused in on the thing that you should be focused on. But, again, look at who we're talking about. It doesn't surprise me that they're focusing on bigger things because they think they're way more Hollywood than they actually were and are. Because let's be clear, if they were as Hollywood as they thought they were, especially when you look at Brandy, Christ Almighty, she would have gotten some bigger opportunities by now. She can't talk in an interesting, entertaining or compelling way. She certainly can't act. 
Like the look part only gets you but so far. But like, with TNT, why did you have to do this to everybody? Because now it's, it's going to be unbearable. You're going to get teasers for weeks and months until this fucking thing airs and you're going to have to see advertisements about it until it's eventually canceled. You're going to sit there and say, hey, it's just like <laughs> The Miz and Maurice with half the ratings, which is like Ray W compared to Raw. Half the ratings. <laughs> I hope the paycheck is worth it. <laughs> Oh, God, do I hope this thing fails and fails miserably. God, will that be hilarious. Now, we should we should do a poll. Like, what's the over-under? Does this last 13 episodes? Nine episodes? Six episodes? Three episodes? Like, what do you guys think? Do you really think this is going to have staying power? Do you really think <laughs> that this is going to be something that people make a destination program that they actually choose to seek out to watch? Like, are they going to try and air this right after AEW Dynamite each Wednesday night so that way they can keep people on for another 30 minutes and try and justify having the excuse for this show? This is going to be an hour show? Oh, God! <laughs> Good luck with your reality show, Cody and Brandy. You're going to fucking need it. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Are y'all going to actually go out and watch this shit? Do you actually think that this is going to be good? Do you actually think this will be interesting television? Do you think that you will be okay with getting this pounded down your throat week after week, found your mid-card piece of crap style? Because you know it's going to. The fact that it's its own show on its own thing is one thing. But you know, you know, especially because it involves Brandy, this is going to be a whole different level of thing in terms of promotion and marketing and advertising and forcing it down your throat and up your arse. You know it. Woo! That's some ego. Can't even put out a show that gets a million viewers every week, but they think they're big enough stars to go out there and do their own reality shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so 